Now, in the previous lecture, we understand the basic of context API. Now, in this lecture, we're going to take a look at a very simple example of context API. Let's take a look at how to use context API in the React application. I'm going to create a new file inside my project here inside my source folder. Here I'm going to create a new folder and name it context. And inside this context folder, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to name this file theme.js. And let me just import this file inside my index.js right here. I'm going to get rid of this API, specify my context folder and my theme file. And inside this theme, I'm going to simply create a class component. I'm going to say here React class component. I'm going to create this theme and specify that here. So I'm going to just use my component inside my index file. Let me save this file back to my component. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this component as a parent component and then I'm going to create my different child component. Let me just add here a command. This is a parent component. So I'm going to say here parent component. Just down here I'm going to create my child component. So I'm going to say here child component. Now you're free to specify all this component in a dedicated file. For this example I put all my components, all my parent and child component inside the same file. If you're working on a React application, you can put all these components in a dedicated file. Now, just out of that, here I'm going to create a simple functional component. So I'm going to say here, function, name it current theme. And inside this function, I'm going to just return a simple division tag. And inside it, I'm going to call another component. So just down here, I'm going to create my another component. This is my third component actually. So I'm going to create here, child component. And just down here, I'm going to create my class component. And this is my second child. So I'm going to name it class second child extends component. So I'm going to just simply create here a class component to use the context API. Don't worry, you can use context API in the functional component as well. This is an example of class component of using context API. In the future lectures, we understand how to use context API using functional component. So let me just use this class component inside my current theme. So here I'm going to just simply call this class component. So I'm going to say here second child and inside this second child here I'm going to just simply call render inside this render method. I'm going to say return and in the parenthesis I'm going to say D in the H1 heading tag. I'm going to say using context API. Let me just use this current theme inside my main parent component. So let me just copy this current theme and specify that like this. So you can notice here this is my parent component, this is my first child component and this is my second child component. I'm going to just import this second child in my first child component and I'm going to import this first child in my parent component. Let me save these changes back to my browser and reload it. You can notice I'm going to have here a message using context API. Now this is a simple example right? Now let me show you how to use the context API inside this example. I'm going to create a variable constant theme context is equal to and I'm going to call here react dot create context. As I said to create a context you have to call a method of react module which is create context and I'm going to specify default value to it which is light. Now you're free to leave this parenthesis empty as well. For this example I'm going to specify value inside this create context. Just so that once I have my context I can use this context in any React component. Let us to pass a value deep into the component tree without explicitly treating it through every component. So I'm going to just call create context and pass this to the theme context variable. As I said, there are three parts of context. First is a context, second is a provider, and third is a consumer. So we created a context. Let me use the provider. We are going to use the provider in the parent component so we can access the context value in all our child components inside this div right here I'm going to call the provider. To call the provider we just need to call here a component call theme context this variable dot provider and then you just have to close this and inside this provider you have to put your parent component. So I'm going to just pass this current theme inside this. So now any child of this current theme can access this context value. Now this component and its child can access the context value directly. Now you can notice here, I have the default value light to this context. I can change this value by specifying the value attribute to this provider. I can change this value by specifying value property to this provider. Here I'm going to say value. 
is equal to and in the double quote I'm gonna say dark now you can see I just wrap my component inside this provider so I can access this value in the component in prop drilling we have to pass property to this component so that property can pass to the next child component in context API you don't have to do it you don't have to pass property to any component you just have to wrap your component inside a provider now let me show you how you can access this context API let me first show you what happened if I just specify here console.log and if I print here current object now this is refers to the current object so this will represent this current component save this file and let me show you the result first now when I save the file you can notice here inside my console I have here second child component inside this component I have different properties you can notice here we have context props reference state and so on whenever you create your any component in react react will create all these properties you can notice right now I don't have any state any property or any reference let me initialize my state to this component and show you the result so what I'm going to do is at the top here I'm going to create a state is equal to and specify here API and specify initialization when I reload the browser you can see we just initialize the state with this value so with your component you will get a properties with their values you can notice here at the top we have context property I'm going to do the same for this context property using this context I'm going to just get the value from the context API and specify that to this component now there are two ways you can initialize the context outside of this class and inside of this class let me get rid of this state because we are not using it let me show you the first way here I'm going to initialize this property outside of this class so just down here I'm going to first call the class name which is second child and then I'm going to call a property of it the property name is context type so you just have to specify here dot and specify context type is equal to and then you need to initialize it with this variable theme context as you can see we just created the context and specify that to this theme context so let me just specify this theme context just like this now let me just save the changes and reload it you can see I'm going to just initialize my context property to dark this will just initialize the context property and I'm going to get dark value inside it so using this simple statement we just get the value of my context in the second child I don't have to pass properties to my component tree and you can see using context property you can access the context value if I just specify here this dot context back to my browser you can see I can access my context value inside my second child now let me show the second way to initialize this context so let me just comment this statement using the second way you can initialize the context inside this class so what you need to do is inside this class here you need to create a static variable context type and initialize it with theme context like this so this will just assign this theme context to this context type property react will find the closest theme provider above and use its value now let me save these changes back to the browser and reload it I'm gonna get the same result you can notice so I hope you understand the basic concept of context API next we'll talk more about the context API because it is a very important topic